Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to add a new admin to your Facebook page. The process of assigning an admin to a Facebook page has gone through several changes over time. Now, overall, the process of assigning an admin to a Facebook page has become more streamlined and flexible over time with more options for specific roles and better organization for managing multiple pages. So now we are going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial now on how you can now assign a new admin to your page. Remember, as you have said, Facebook keeps on changing these things, but this is the latest tutorial that goes with the 2023 way of adding an admin to your page. So in case you've been struggling, this tutorial will be of great help to you in adding a new admin to your page. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So while logged in to your Facebook page, you come to the upper right corner. Then you click on privacy and settings and privacy. You click on settings and privacy. Then next, you click on settings. And once the page loads, you get the page, general page settings. You come to privacy. You click on privacy. Now the privacy opens and you find that you have a lot that you can do here. Privacy, shortcuts, your activity, how people can find and contact you, and also messaging. Uh, but remember, for us our interest for now is to add a new admin. So you click on privacy shortcuts up here, manage your page. You click on that. So you'll notice that once that opens, you will have a new window which has these settings that were not there initially, where we have manage, edit, and add story. So you also notice the items we have on this professional dashboard. We have insights, ad center, create ad settings, more tools, and meta business suit. So you notice we still have, don't have the option to add an admin. So you now click on this manage. Great. Now once you click on manage, you notice that the content on the professional dashboard has now increased and we can scroll downwards. So we scroll until we get to page access. As I said earlier, remember we have a lot of changes on Facebook. You can see we have A-B tests, which is a new feature, which maybe we shall, ha we shall highlight in another video. So you now click on this page access. And so it opens manage and view access. On this page now, you'll find that people with Facebook access and like if you are the current admin, you notice you have these rights, page deletion, permissions, content, messages, community activity, ads, and insights. That means you have full access to the page. Uh, in this second part, you see people with task access. And these are community managers who can moderate comments, suspend or remove people who violate community standards and see all admins of the page. So remember, uh, as we said earlier on, on Facebook you can either give full access or you can give partial access. So now, where, where do we add that? We come simply at the top here, people with access. You'll notice we have add new, which is an active tab. You click on that. And you notice it now tells you add new facebook access means and it gives you an explanation you can switch into the page and manage it directly on facebook or by using other tools 
and then of course continues to inform you on point number two any actions you take on this page including when you check into a location and then the final point which is very important anyone else with with facebook access will share the page experience including the new feeds and notifications for this page so you click on next on this page now you are going to add either the name you can see clearly here it indicates search by name or email so you can either type the name of the person that you want to add here as an admin or you can simply type their email address so for the testing purposes let me just type a random name then we see if we are going to get suggestions let's say tom you notice it has already loaded options for tom so let me type a different name let's say eunice uh, there it gives me so many options for that also i can now search from this list and see who i want to give access to so let me change that and maybe say unis let me change that name to this one see it still gives me the options of people who have such names and as we have said you can also try with email addresses let's type an email address before we continue let's say an email address like um, joshnet at at gmail so if the email exists then definitely it is going to send an email to that person this is just a random email so let's use a name for the purpose of this tutorial let's use the same name we had used let's use unis uh such a name so let's assume we want to make this person the admin of the page you simply click on their name like that you say with facebook access jockey unis can manage the following so this gives you the details of what your new admin will be able to manage so you can see he'll be able to manage content messages community activity ads insights and now here you notice we have a tab that is not yet activated which says allow this person to have full access if i activate that this way it means i've given this person access to all the things we have said above here but you need to be very careful when giving access because sometimes if you give access to everything the person uh, has to be trustworthy so that they don't really mess up your page but you can simply click here give access if you don't want to give full access so that it gives you the option to select the access that you need to give then you'll be prompted to input your password which is a nice security feature for this uh, new feature of 20, Facebook 2023 where you have to put your password so that no one else can make themselves an admin they'll have to know your password for them to do that so you insert your password and then you confirm now once that happens you notice there was a pop-up here that says that the invitation has been sent and then you also notice people with access now this person has been given access and the access down there is written in red that expires in 31 days that is a different thing from initially where facebook invites to be an admin were only valid for seven days now it's 31 days so now once this person accepts to be an admin definitely they'll be able to have access of the things that you have allowed them to do now you can see the difference between the two you and the person you have not given them full access you notice you have page deletion but the person you invited has no permission to delete your page and uh, the person has messages you have messages the person has content you have content you have community activity the person has community activity but page deletion you have not given that person full access to do that 
So with that, I hope this helps. So of course, definitely once the person accepts the invitation, that is before the expiry of the 21 days, the person becomes an admin of your page. I hope this has been helpful to you. I look forward to having another tutorial with you soon. Thank you. And remember to share this video, subscribe to this channel, and let us help more people to know of the new changes of how to add an admin to the Facebook page. As we have said, this uh, feature and features on Facebook keep on changing every now and then. So you need a very updated tutorial like this one. Thank you.